Wow, am I excited. Today is one of my favorite kind of days. I got home from work and outside my garage door was a big old box. And inside that box is a new piece of gear. Now I don't order new gear often. I'm a big believer that if you buy the right thing the first time, there's not a whole lot of cause to buy new things down the road. Which makes these new box arrivals few and far between these days. Once you've already put the main pieces in your gym, your rack, your bar, your weights, your dumbbells, you kind of have everything that you need. But every once in a while you find a reason to buy a new piece of gear, you order it online, you wait anxiously for it to arrive, and then on a day like today, it shows up. So today on Gym Crafter, we're going to unbox the Rep Fitness AB3000 Adjustable Bench. I've been looking forward to ordering this thing for a long time, been wanting a new bench for a while, and I'm anxious to see what it looks like coming out of the box. All right, so before we take this bad boy out of the box and put it together, I wanted to take a minute and talk about my old bench. It's the Body Solid GFID 225. I'll link a review that I wrote about it in the notes below. It's really been a great bench and it served me well for a long time. I bought it at a time when I needed to be able to fold everything down flat and store it away. And if you need a bench that folds flat, stores under your bed, if you're in an apartment or if you're in a house where you're just working out in your, in your bedroom, you don't have a lot of room for things, I really think this is the best choice. But since I built this dedicated space in my garage and I've got room to just leave the bench out, there were a couple things about it that I didn't like. There's some stability issues with it as far as when you kind of move it around, it doesn't sit where it should sit without some adjustment. Um, the padding isn't uh, exactly what I would want. There's not a lot of grip to it, so when you're bench pressing, you can't really dig your shoulders into it and get a good grip. It is a little bit slick. And then the adjustability of it um, leaves just a little bit to be desired. I don't have a lot of nitpicks about it, but it was enough to where, like I said, when I built the dedicated space in my garage, I had room, I had the budget, and I'm just excited to get a new piece of equipment. So let's get this AB3000 out of the box, see what it looks like, and uh, get her put together. All right, so a couple things about the box before we start. First of all, it's from Colorado. This is based in Colorado, in Denver. Um, I'm from Colorado, so it's already got a good place in my heart. The second thing, is this heavy? Good. This box, loaded with the bench, weighs 95 pounds. I don't think that two of these would weigh 95 pounds, so I'm really looking forward to having a heavier bench. You know, heavier is not always better, but when you're talking about needing a stable base to lift from, I think heavy is a good thing. I can't wait to get this thing. So let's get this thing out of the box. So let's take a look inside the box. First, we've got the pads. And one thing I'll note, this is packed really well. You know, a lot of fitness equipment that you'll order, uh, especially some of the gear that I've received at the lower price points, it's not always packed that great. So it's nice to see um, some of that 95 pounds packaging, and that this is gonna be hopefully all in one piece when I get it all opened up. But we've got the, the bigger pad here. Uh, looks like we've got the, the smaller pad right there. Looks like we've got some hardware here. Let's take a look. It does say not to use a knife, so I'll use a knife. And looks like we've got some uh, instructions. Looks like a real nice guide on how to put it together. This is a whole lot better than some of the stuff I've got. I know my rack, I had to go online and download a guide, so. It's nice that they took the time to print this out and put it in here. We've got our hardware, the uh, pads that go down by your feet. And then it looks like the bench itself is in a couple of pieces. Yeah, this thing is heavy. So let me get the main part out. This looks like it's upside down. We've got our feet here. Pads are going to go down there. Um, looks real nice so far. We've got another piece over here. So let me get these all pack, taken out. We'll lay them out. We'll get the pads out. We'll get them all, uh, all put together. All right, I got the box out of the way so we have a little bit more room to move. I've got the base here. Uh, there were two other pieces in the box. So we're going to take a look at this first one. Oh, that's nice. That's got a nice, if you can see that, 
Nice Rev Fitness logo on there. Uh, well put together. A couple of wheels so we can move this thing around. Definitely gonna need wheels with the bench this heavy. Here we've got the handle to move it around with. So there's the three main pieces of the bench. Let's take a look at these pads. I'm sure I'm not supposed to use a knife, so let's use a knife. All right, oh, that's nice. I do like that. So I can already tell you, this is a higher quality covering than the body solid. The body solid's slick. This has got some texture to it. You can already tell it's got a little bit more grip. It's got a good amount of padding to it. Uh, you can see on the bottom, usually with benches, you can see you know, the bottom is where they get sloppy. And this is real nicely finished all across the bottom. Real well put together. Um, pretty happy so far. Let's take a look at the other seat pad. Oh, yeah. So, another thing that I'm noticing right away is the thickness on this pad. Uh, it's a good half inch to an inch thicker than the body solid bench. So this as far as a comparable upgrade for me. Again, looks like I'm gonna be able to dig into dig my shoulders into this real nicely. I like that this is uh, this is a good texture as it is. It looks like again the bottom is finished real nicely. Uh, looks like it's gonna go together pretty easily. So here's the parts and uh, Let's put this thing together. Okay, one quick thing I wanted to show you. A lot of the hardware comes in this. There's a tool or two, it looks like, that come with it. Uh, so you don't, I guess, technically need to have tools to put it together. But I can tell you from just starting, you're going to want a socket and a crescent wrench at least. So um, be prepared if you get this. You're going to want this. You can definitely put it together with the tool that came with it. Um, the other thing I noticed is that while some of the hardware is in here, one of the cool things is, is what they've done is they've loosely installed a lot of the hardware uh, in areas where it's going to go, but uh, instead of packaging in there. So you know this is the right bolt for you. So that's kind of a cool touch as well. Let me get back to putting it together and we'll get back at you when it's a little bit more done. So we've got the pads on. I wanted to take a quick break. It's pretty easy so far. Four bolts on the top, four bolts on the bottom. I will tell you, if you try and put the thing together with these that came with it, like I said before, it's not going to happen. So make sure you have one of these, um, or at the very least one of these, but really a uh, socket wrench is going to be your savior on this. So uh, there's a little bit of tight space underneath the front here where it was kind of hard to get my hands in. Uh, other than that, went in pretty well. So let's go on to the next step. All right, so the next piece is put on. I got the uh, foot part put on, and one of the nice things about this bench, and this is one of the big reasons that I upgraded to this bench over the body solid is when I'm doing incline work, the body solid seat doesn't tip up. And with this bench, what you can do is pull out this little pin and this tips up so it gives you much better support. So one thing I'm really looking forward to here, I've got this I'll put on, the handle's nice and sturdy, the leg pads are on. So far it's been a piece of cake. So uh, definitely not like an Ikea piece of furniture, much more simple than that. So let me get to the next step and we'll break back in then. All right, so the last step is done. Got the wheels on, went on with two bolts. Super simple. So really this couldn't have been easier to put together. Um, unlike my rack, which took me a good part of a couple hours, this took me maybe 15 minutes. So not bad at all. First impressions, the fit and finish of this thing is great. I love the pads, I love the way it looks. The powder coat is great, the wheels are nice. It moves real easily. You don't have to lift it up real far. A lot of these benches, you have to lift them up real high to get them to roll. This one, you only have to lift up a little bit. So it's real sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's very easy to adjust, uh, both in the, the larger back portion as well as the seat, as I showed you a minute ago. Um, it went together great. I really have nothing bad to say. Now, I'm not going to do a full review of this bench because I just put it together. So one of my pet peeves is when people just kind of get something and have it for one or two workouts and then do a review. So once I've had this thing for a few months and I've put it through its paces, I'll definitely stop back by and put together a review. Um, I will in the meantime do a review of the body solid bench. 
Uh, this is definitely an upgrade, but like I said, if you're in an apartment where you need a bench that folds flat to go under a bed, I think that body style is a nice choice. So I'll definitely take the time, put together a review for you all so that you can look at it. And then in a few months, when I've had this for a while, uh, really, like I said, put it through its paces. Then I'll go ahead and put a, a review together for the Rep Fitness AB3000. But so far, unboxing-wise, packed well, good weight, good fit and finish, goes together easy, comes with good instructions. Rep Fitness, I got, think you got a winner so far. So I'm real happy with my investment, and uh, I'll come back at you with the review in a couple months. Also, if you want to see any of my other recommended gear, this bench is definitely on my recommended gear page on the website. Just go to jimcrafter.com slash gear and you'll see all of the things that I recommend. Barbells, weights, racks, benches. Like I said, this will be on there. But anything that you want, jimcrafter.com slash gear and you'll see all my recommendations there.